Okay, this is attempt number two for me to make a coherent video uh, about the 6139-6005 Resist True Pogue, the Pogue model, named after Colonel William Pogue of NASA, who wore his on Skylab in the early 70s. It was the, made it the first automatic chronograph in space. Um, there's been a lot of chatter about this recently, uh, thanks to uh, the very uh, important and well-followed uh, TGV, the Urban Gentry. So he's been talking about these watches recently, and he, he also, I have to thank him for bringing attention to these models, because they're cool. And I also thank him because he has such great enthusiasm and joy about watches, which is really, really important. Some people look at watches and they're like, they think there's some high holy thing. You know, watches are a source of joy, they're fun. We should talk about watches and we should enjoy them. So I really appreciate the sense of fun he brings to watches, because that's great. They're not, you know, they're not some high holy thing. They are meant to be enjoyed and we should be happy about them. So he's been talking a lot about the Pogue, which is cool. Uh, let's talk about the Pogue. Uh, and let's start with, this is the screenshot from his video, TGV's video, Urban Gentry's video, and there's Colonel Bill Pogue. He uh, was in, he was a he was a fighter pilot from Korea. He was in NASA, the NASA program, and he went up in Skylab for 80 days. And he had, um, he had not been issued his Omega Speedmaster in time. And so uh, he had to, he went down to the base PX, there's, there's a Speedmaster. He went down to the base PX and he bought a, um, a Seiko chronograph on layaway. Um, and then when the time came for him to go up to Skylab, he snuck his Seiko aboard the, the, the ship, Skylab, in the leg of his spacesuit. And he wore both in orbit. So, uh, and there's, there he is, doing his stuff. You can't see the watch, obviously. He's, if he's wearing it, I have no idea. He donated his watch to sell at auction a good number of years ago, so 2008. Uh, so you can see that it sold for a lot because it was a moon watch and it had NASA history. But at that point, people weren't really thinking about them. This model had not been identified. These model, these watches weren't worth a lot of money. And Seiko generally was really affordable. And so this was sort of the start of people being really thinking about these models. But there's still a lot of confusion about what is or isn't a Pogue. Um, you have, you know, a lot of people will... They'll call anything that's in this case design a Pogue. Uh, they'll, they'll call that a Pogue. I've seen that a lot. People will call it a blue Pogue. This is a 6139-6009. It's the US only version of this model. These are actually pretty rare with the notch case and the two part suite. They're cool. I love them. People will call, um, would call this a Pogue. It's a 6139-6000 proof, proof mark. People would call that a Pogue, and that's a late one with a taper H-link bracelet. People call this a Pogue, because it's a gold tile, and this is close. That's close, it's it's almost, this is unrestored. It's correct in every way, except it's missing the dial text. But it's nearly his watch, nearly his watch. So let's look at what makes his watch his watch. So we've got this here. That is Colonel William Pogue's actual watch. There it is. Now there's, I'm pretty dialed in on minutia, on the fine, fine, fine details. So here are the things that make it what it is, that tell us what it is. Seiko, automatic, water 70 meter resist, 17 joule, SUA symbol. We know it's a yellow dial. The bracelet, by the way, we can tell that this watch has had work done. This lower minute counter hand has been replaced. Um, and the bracelet is not uh, correct to this model. It might be a Seiko bracelet, but I bet that the original bracelet broke and he was just had the watch worked on because it was his daily. He wore this thing for 30 years. Uh, I would bet that he, when he had the watch done down at the jewelers or something, that they just, they, they, they ordered another generic Seiko bracelet and popped that on there for him. Okay, so again, these are the things that are important. Seiko 70 meter resist, 17 joule, SUA mark, Seiko automatic. So there we go, we see them. We see all the fine details, the things that tell us the things we need to know. And we know that he bought his watch in 1971, and we know the serial number dates the watch to September 1971. I'm remaking this video too, by the way, because in the middle of the night last night, I realized I had some wrong information. 
And uh, so I wanted to include that. So Bill Pogue's watch. Oh, one other thing too. Something that people always took for as gospel was this white indicator ring. That was, I remember when these were first coming up and people were looking for them, there was this whole wave of people saying, oh no, 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 look at the picture. His had a white indicator ring. Well, there never was a white indicator ring. That, that I'll discuss that in a second, but for a while there, people were looking for these with white indicator rings and saying that anything else was wrong. So let's, we'll talk about that here in a second. Okay, hopefully this will be more coherent. I, I, I never have a script for this stuff. I just bang it out. What is a true pogue? Well, this is a true pogue. It's a worn example that I just restored, but this is a true pogue. Seiko, automatic, water 70 meter resist, 17 joule, SUA. This example is very early. It's January 1972. These watches, these pogues, were made starting in... I believe the earliest examples I know are in February 1971. So the serial would start with 1, 2, February 1971. Pogues was made in September 71. So the serial starts with 1, 9. Um, the latest I ever see them is 2, uh, 4, I believe. So that would be April 1972. Anything later than that, it's gone. Um, but this one, that's a worn example. But here you can see the white indicator ring. Now, the reason this has a white indicator ring uh, is because these yellow rings, they fade in the sun. They fade in the sun. Here's another ring that's slightly less faded, slightly more yellow. But you can see underneath, it's still yellow. So it, that's just, it's how these patina down. And you can see an unfaded ring here. Now this is a 6139-6005 dial, that's the North American version, just like this, but it's a later one, it has no text here. So this is a later, a later dial. So there's a true Pogue, what it looks like when they've been worn a little bit, and uh, they have some time on them. This is what, this is another one, this one's mine, and this is what they would have looked like when they were newer. This is what Pogues would have looked like when he was in space, unfaded and complete. So those are the things that we look for. That's what makes a true poke. Water 70 meter resist, 17 joule, SUA. Seiko automatic. So it's not gonna have any of the other dial text. It's not gonna have any of the other information. It's not gonna say like, uh, like this, for example. Where is it? Oh, that's a 6,005. Come on. Maybe this one? Ah, yes. Like this. Seiko Chronograph Automatic. This is for 6139-6002. No SUA symbol. Seiko Chronograph Automatic. Also no text here. So I would not consider that to be a true Pogue dial. And there we are. That is what I consider to be a true Pogue. 6139-6005. Water, 70 meter, resist, Seiko, automatic only. And that's what is a true poke. So it's, for a lot of people, it's not going to matter. You know, you just want the general model and that's fine. Some people are going to be purists and they're going to want to have the, the real deal. And that's what this is. That's what these are. These are the real deal. So if you have one that matches all those criteria, you have what I consider to be a true poke. But, you know, we can use the term for other, for this general case. Why not? It's not the end of the world. So, anyway, I hope this video is useful and not horribly rambling. Okay, and thank you again to TGV, the Urban Gentry, for the nod. I really do appreciate it.